Thanks for watching Three Pound Fishing, partnered up with these fantastic companies. What's up, folks? Getting sickness worked on right now at Ren Lake Marina. Check it out. She is, uh, he is ready to roll, getting its first oil change. And the service manager here at Ren Lake, Zach, is uh, doing the, the fine work on it. What's up, my man? What's up, brother? So tell me, what is like the recommended your first oil change on a new motor. What do you recommend? Well, I and Mercury also recommend about a 20 to 25 hour first service, kind of a break-in service. Get the break-in oil out, get the gear oil out, make sure nothing's going on, because it's all brand new parts, and uh, just make sure it's all good to go for the rest of the season. So now you've got your first service in, what do you recommend after that? After that, it's pretty much once a season or every 100 hours, whichever gets to first. You know, your average guy doesn't put 100 hours on it a year, but you possibly will, but we'll be happy to service it whenever you need it. So you guys need to check out Ren Lake Marina out and my man, Zach, he takes care of me over here. And uh, I'll tell you what, I'm gonna show you around the, uh, the inside of Ren Lake Marina real quick. Before we go fishing, we are gonna be fishing Ren Lake today on some structure. Crappie are about to go in this boat. I'm excited, haven't been on Ren Lake in a while. And uh, I'll just take you for a walk real quick. We're fortunate around here to have, you know, multiple marinas and fleet people that can work on boats. Ren Lake's awesome, convenient, and certainly right on Ren Lake. So it's always a great place to go fish. If you like the thump, Ren Lake is the place for you. So here's just a look at the, the shop here. And they specialize in low boats. So everybody knows that I, I bought my last two low boats here. It actually looks like one's about to exit the door. Probably one that's been sold, ready to rock and roll. Got a 60 on it, check it out. That's nice, simple. Let's see what it says on here. Oh, I don't know if it's sold or if it's for sale. You might want to check them out. We're in Lake Marina. But anyway, we're gonna get the sickness here real quick. We're gonna go out there, catch some fish, have a great time on Ren Lake. Look forward to it. Thanks for joining me. Yeah, it's gonna be a great day. Lake fish of the day. Literally the second drop. That's a good fish. Now the Red Lakes, you know, their limit is kind of strange. It's 10 over 10, which that would qualify. We're going to let them go, of course. And uh, you then have 15 shorter than 10. So most people don't stick around for those, but um, you can. And right now we're just fishing right outside of Ina. Um, just having a ball with fish that are just right on on structure it's no big deal really they're kind of sitting there sleeping on these things and I'm pretty sure they're gonna be pretty active see this one's coming already there he is that's a better fish Great fish, and the great thing about this lake is it's a thump. Let me show you some of that on Active Captain. So this is a great, uh, look at those fishes sitting around that tree. Uh, we're gonna try to drop on that one there at 22 feet is what I'm gonna think. He's looking pretty good, 20 foot right now. And I'll pitch at 20 foot, see if I can't get him to react from that far out. That's what I just pitched right there. There he is, he's reacting to it. Here he comes. Oh, he did grab it. And that was not a good example of what you should do, folks. 
There he is. Then there he goes. Wasn't the biggest fish, but we got a bigger one down there. You see him, folks? That's awesome. Now, I do fish with the sniping braid optimized when I come to this lake. My, uh, my 13 foot Ozark rods, which is what I'm using, is they're all spooled up with it. And I feel really good about that optimized braid on these lakes that produce this massive thump, which this is one of them. So here we go on this guy right here. See if he, no, he don't want to take it. That's a good fish there too. We want him. There he comes, and there he is. That's, oh, are you kidding me? Now sometimes they will show off as a good fish and they just ain't, and this is one of them. This is definitely one of them. What a soft bite. Man, this is just awesome. Red Lake is just, I hate to say it, but it's, it's just, you just go to this timber and you just, they're there. It's like, this is the middle of the day. It's a pretty hot day. Um, right. We've got some really hot temperatures coming up. So you know they're just gonna start filling this timber and staying low. So that's always just my suggestion. There's really only two spots on Red Lake you can go. It's either going to be the Ina side or the Waltonville side, and there's just structure everywhere. So good fishing here for sure. That's a good fish. Oh man! So let me show you what I'm fishing with. That's a good fish right there. This is the Darbone. Darbone's available on my website. Um, I also think, you know, the gumdrop would be freaking awesome. But this is the Darbone. It works awesome here. But right now I'm gonna switch up to maybe the E-Frog, try something a little different to see if that black and yellow will even entice the bite even more. But right now they're pretty much drop biting on every single thing I drop on them, so. All right, so that's the E-Frog with a 1 ounce head. Now I do have it on backwards. Um, pretty much because I love to see the orange and black, the, the real um, contrasting color. And it always seems to work really good that way for me. I don't know if it matters, but that's the way I do it. And I do supplement it all with a 117th or one, a number seven uh, split shot. And again, like I said, this is the optimized sniping braid. And it's flipping awesome. I, do, I don't do any casting, all vertical dropping it seems like. I mean, I might pitch to them at 20 feet, but that's the extent of what I do here. All right, first drop with the E-Frog orange head. That's about a 20 foot pitch. And I didn't have a good drop. Let's see what we got here. There's our first fish on the E-Frog. <laughs> oh, he got off, dang it. I thought I got him pretty good too. Oh well, there's so many fish around here, it's ridiculous. E-Frog works too, baby. E-Frog on fire. Good night. Sit this thing down there. Wren Lake, E-Frog. Mark it down, folks. E-Frog. E-Frog with the orange head. But this is just a good bite, so. Anyway, I wanna end it right there. Uh, good episode. You know, just the maintenance on your boat's obviously important. I hate, I mean, I. I kind of neglect boats from time to time, but I can tell you this boat's not gonna be neglected. Oil change first 20 hours, and then uh, once a year after that, I just need, I'd love just to start doing it myself, but you got great facilities like Wren Lake, why not take advantage of it? So, thanks for watching guys. Peace out, three pound fishing baby.
Thanks for watching 3 Pound Fishing, partnered up with these fantastic companies.